everybody! Fiber Spider back again with a new game for you. What remains of Edith Finch? Mm -hmm. Toot toot! Alright, <laughs> how you doing everybody? Uh, got a new game for you. Um, just a quick heads up. It is rated T for Teen. Content descriptor descriptors. Violence, blood, drug reference, and language. I really haven't seen any from what I have played thus far. I did play a little bit, just to get an idea of what was in store, get used to the controls. It is a first-person perspective. Yes. And we appear to be on a ferry of sorts. Can't get up, no. But I can look down. Oh, here we go. Edith Finch. A lot of this isn't going to make sense to you, and I'm sorry about that. I'm just going to start at the beginning, with the house. Alright, looks like we are going home. Isn't this lush? It's pretty. So it's all about a homecoming. To an empty I house. lived here until I was 11, but I wasn't allowed inside half the rooms. To an empty house, and you experience things of the past, and try to uncover the mystery of the family. Do I just love this mailbox? Inside the mailbox were bills from seven years ago, marked urgent, open immediately. Well, guess what? I'm not paying them. I'm just visiting. And I love her gloves. Love them. I hadn't been back since my brother Lewis's funeral. Well, that's understandable. Also, I love the narration style. You see it, you hear it. And... Will, my mother left me a key, but didn't tell me what it unlocked. Well, we'll find that out. You know, you can see it, you can hear Maybe it. Maybe she it's... thought I'd know. Or... She thought the mystery would be enough to bring me back. Well, everybody loves a good mystery. It's an unobtrusive way of doing uh, narration. Now, I went down this way when I first was trying it out, but I want to go up this way now. So it'll be a new experience for me, too. I love the flowers. What are those called? Not bluebells. Let me know in the comment section down below, what are those flowers called, please? They're everywhere, I love them. No one had driven this way in a long time, but I saw a few hoof prints. Ooh, deer? Moose? Elk? <gasps> oh! Hello! Unlike Skyrim, no, I'm not gonna shoot you. It's okay. Bye. Oh. Bye. Where'd he go? The truth is, even after I inherited the house, I never thought I'd come back to it. Why? Too many bad memories? But now memories? I had questions about my family that only the house knew the answers to. The house knows. Oh, it's so the awesome! The house was exactly like I remembered it. It's like the, the burrow. Way I've been dreaming about it. Absolutely incredible. Now this is going to be a tricky balance because me as the commentator versus me, you know, the the character. Oh. As a child, the house made me uncomfortable in a way I couldn't put into words. Missing posters. What's this way? Oh, wow. Lots of missing posters. Flyers. That is pretty neat, whatever it is. I, I don't know, but it's pretty neat. Um, yeah, so it's going to be kind of tricky. No, can't interact with everything, unfortunately. Um, gonna be tricky as far as 
the character voice jumping in versus me giving a commentary, but I'm going to do my best not to talk over it, etc., etc. Because I know you guys can see it, but I want you to be able to hear it, too. And the sounds for this game are incredible. I love it. Like, wouldn't you just love to live here, in spite of, you know, the, the ramshackleness? Um, it's gorgeous! I, I would give my eye teeth to live here. It is so gorgeous. Quiet. Mm. Excuse me a moment. Now, <coughs> as a 17-year-old, I knew exactly what those words were. I was afraid of the house. Oh. Well, let's go on in, if we can. Let's see. Does the key work? I hoped the key might unlock the front door. It didn't. Yeah. Ooh. Looking in, I felt like the house itself had been waiting for me. It's not haunted, is it? I mean... By the way, I love her gloves! Cable knit. Oh. So much detail. You know, even the, the ivy. Oh. I love the attention to detail. You know, the, the moss on the trees, everything. You know, it doesn't, it doesn't look cluttered, it looks lived in. Can I get in through here? Oh, you've got to be kidding me, really? Well, I guess I'm small enough. Crawling through the doggy door used to be a lot easier when I was 11. Hmm. Well, let's take a look-see around. Oh, can I turn this on? The power had been turned off the night we left. Oh. Okay. Uh, well, fortunately we have some lighting in here. Raw, foul, cosmic cuisine, the pleasures of Japanese cooking. Looks like somebody liked to garden. Ooh, a kiddie pool. Had one of those when I was a tyke. Aha! Another dot. Let's follow the dot. For the first time in years. I felt like I was home. Well, that's good. Oh, this place is so cool. But instead of a family, there were just memories of one. Mm, it's so sad and, and sentimental, but it's so neat. Let's see, what's this say? Like how after Lewis started working at the cannery, we all got sick of eating salmon. Except mm. our cat, Molly. Well, that, that is a lot of fish. You know, it's like, I, I like tuna, but I wouldn't want to eat it, eat it every day, either. Or how only one restaurant would deliver to our house. So we had Chinese a lot. <laughs> Same thing with Chinese. Oh, we've got cosmic cuisine... Again, and the pleasures of Japanese cooking. Interesting. I mean, there there are books, books, books everywhere, which I think is a great touch. But you can see that there are a number of duplicate copies. Just a little, just a little. Whoa, that's a lot of canned fish. My goodness. Um, it it's not so much of a criticism. It's more like you know an observation. Any more cosmic cuisine? Ah, see, raw fowl again, right up there in the center of the screen. You know, it, it's it's not a criticism. It's just uh, an observation. Whoa! The table was still a wreck from the night we left. It was like a bomb had gone off, killing everyone but sparing the furniture. Well, what happened that made you leave so quickly, so abruptly? I, I hope that's wine or, you know, tomato sauce. Looks like that's out to the garage. 
Oh. You hear that? Let's see. Oh, another dot. My mom was the only one of us who could imagine Great Grandma Edie living in a nursing home. What was she? Was she feisty? Oh, I see that uh, they were having Chinese once again. Well, keep looking. Nothing uh. in the house looked abnormal. There was just too much of it, like a no. smile with too many teeth. No, not too much. It it's it's full. I would say it's not cluttered. I would say it's full. Now, how are you supposed to get up that ladder with that chair in the way? See, I, again, I would kill, not literally, but, you know, I would kill to have bookshelves like that, you know, with the, uh, the ladder and the whole nine yards. Oh my god, I, mm, I Even wish. Even the fireplace had a story. Edie told me the bricks came from the original house, after it sank. Sank? Your house sank? <gasps> Yarn! Oh! Oh, love yarn. Now that is a coffee table. Oh, just just the decor. I know I'm like spending an inordinate amount of time going over the the decor, but they did a really bang up job. Ooh, can I get in here? Mom always told me to stay out of the basement, so I wasn't too surprised when the key didn't fit. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Ooh, hello. Cranky crank. Ooh. Great Grandpa Sven built a music box for Barbara, along with the rest of the house. That's pretty awesome. However, the image is a little creepy, uh, like Bigfoot in the background. But it looks like Barbara was in the movie industry, and they were doing a movie of Bigfoot. That's what it appears to be, or something to that effect. Let's see. Musical instruments. Lots of little birdies. Somebody was in the army, or was an explorer, I can't tell which. And that's back to the kitchen. Ooh, hello. Edie told me once that every finch who ever lived is buried somewhere in the library. Oh yeah, that's not creepy. Okay. I uh, guess head on upstairs. Yep, Cosmic Cuisine. I see you. Now that is awesome how they crammed in the books all around that. Oh, I love it, I love it, I love it. I know, I know, I'm gushing. But I just think it's... I am a After huge... After disappeared, Mom sealed up all the bedrooms. Oh. I'm a huge bookworm. Then Edie retaliated and drilled peepholes. <laughs> I'm a huge bookworm, but also I'm a huge yarn fanatic, so it's, it's sort of double-edged. Um... Ooh, ooh. Let's look in. Molly always seemed like a girl I could imagine being friends with, if she hadn't died in 1947. Looks like a shark. And a cage? Hmm. It's very cute, though. Sort of princess squirrel room. <laughs> Let's see, let's keep looking around up here. Now, I could go in there, but I want to keep looking around. Oh, hello. Whenever people ask me about my family, the first thing they always want to know about is Barbara. My friend Bigfoot. Ah, so it was Sasquatch. Bill Bunton as Bigfoot. Ah, that's the picture that we saw downstairs. Okay. Ooh. Mom must have locked the third floor stairs on the night we left. Oh. It's funny, though. That bar looks like you would find that in a bathroom. It's like a 
power line leading to there. Hmm. Oh! Have a look-see. Barbara was a child star for two years. Aha! Until America grew out of it. Oh, well, Shirley Temple of the family. Okay. Oh, hello. Edie's father, Odin, built the original house. Looks rather severe. Hmm. This house is so cool! Oh my gosh, I am in love. Alright, what's down this hallway? More doors, huh? Well, I want to take a look-see. Let's see, we've got Sven. The last time I was in Edith Sr.'s room, I was ten and she was painting my portrait. Ah. So that's Sven and Edie. It's also kind of... I don't know, it, it's kind of creepy that they have the dates of when they were alive on there. Uh, oh. Well, we have one date, Calvin. So there's Calvin and Sam. What about Sam? My grandpa Sam spent seven years sharing a room with his dead brother, Calvin. Oh. Okay. I guess that would explain the roped off area. Hmm. Ah, I see. So one was into space exploration and the other one was into the military, apparently. Let's see, and Gregory. As a kid, I just assumed every house had peepholes and sealed rooms you weren't allowed inside of. Uh, well, if that's what you grow up with, I guess that could be construed as normal. Alright, let, let's mosey on, shall we? Now, there was that one room that was open, so I guess we'll start there. You know, I just want to get sort of like a foundation of what this house is like. I spent a lot of time playing in Great Uncle Walter's room. I, I guess... I think my mom sometimes regretted not sealing it up. <laughs> I guess he liked the ocean and fish. This is pretty darn cool. Huh. Now, it's sort of like uh, the bedroom in the movie Mermaids with um, Cher, Bob Hoskins, Winona Ryder, and Christina Ricci, I think it Lewis was. Lewis told me there were secret passages, but I never believed him. Well, looks like we can try out our key again. 20,000 leagues under the sea. What do we got? Turns out, my mom was really good at keeping secrets. Aha! Now it was time to find out what my mom had been afraid of. I love secret passages. And stained glass. <laughs> Tea, anyone? From the paintings on the wall, it was clear my brother Milton had been here before me. Apparently so. Little kitty. Reading this, maybe it sounds like I had a plan. See, even a little nook like this, I would spend, like, days in here. I know it sounds like a, like it's like a cell or something, but no, I, I like but small... But I had no idea what was behind that door. I like small niches and nooks and crannies. Is this Molly's room? Just like I had no idea where all this was going to lead. Further into the house, I would say. Ah, yeah, it's Molly's room. Oh, this place is so cool. I grew up looking at Molly's room through the peephole. Molly's gerbil had a tiny bedroom with its own even tinier gerbil cage. <laughs> okay, that's kind of weird, but neat. But then again, this whole place is weird. Ew, gerbil poop. Let's see, we got a little sharky sharky. I had one of those pumpkins when I was younger. My mom made it in ceramics. She used it for Halloween candy Being to give out. Being inside for the first time, I felt like I'd stepped behind a painting. Oh, that's understandable. I just 
It, it, this is awesome. This is like the ultimate little girl's room. I love it. Ooh, masks. Love masks. Can't get through there. All right. Just so, so cool. Let's see. Oh, there's Molly. I got the sense Edie had spent a lot of time here before my mom sealed the doors. Molly, 1937 to 1947. She died young. She was only 10. It's like the dates are on everything. Before I do that, I want to take a look outside. Now that's a view. That's very pretty. Oh, the Jungle Book. Rudyard Kipling. Let's see. Macbeth? That's kind of mature reading for a little girl. A something in the cupboard. Oh, I wish I could read those titles. Alright, let, let's keep going. Let's keep going. December 13th, 1947. Dear Diary, I'll be gone soon, but I wanted to tell somebody about what's gonna happen. Gone soon? It started soon. when Mom sent me to bed without dinner. I woke up and I was starving, so I looked around for something to eat. Oh, why, why the gerbil cage? Tell me I'm not going to eat the gerbil, please. Gerbil food. Oh, okay. The Just... gerbil food was dry, but I didn't mind it. Uh. Yeah, raisins. Yeah, uh, no. Oh, can I get out? Mom, can I come out now? Sweetheart, it's late. Go to sleep. Oh. Ooh. My Halloween candy was all gone. Oh. Foraging, huh? Alright. Tell me I don't have to click on the goldfish. Please tell me I don't... Oh, no. Oh, I thought about... Well, there's a dot, but I, I can't click it. So that that's good. You know, little Nemo, you're safe. <laughs> uh, let's look around some more, I guess. Oh, oh, another dot. Oh, what's over here? Toothpaste? I kept eating and eating. No, 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 no. Don't, don't, don't. Oh, make you sick. Oh, no. Really? Isn't that poisonous? I ate a lot of things that night. Oh. Not good. Maybe that's why she's like, yep, I know I'm not gonna be around much longer. Eat then that... I heard chirping outside my window. Eat that stuff, and uh, you're gonna have a problem. You're a little tum tum. It was Hi, a barn swallow going back to her nest. Hi, Birdie. Hi. I reached out for her. <laughs> and suddenly. Suddenly. Whoa! I was a cat! Okay, what was in those berries? I'm a little Mew Mew. Hello. Wanna be friends? I can hear that little bell. Come on, I wanna be friends. Do you wanna be friends? I tried to be quiet, but the bird was really scared. Well, and I, I'm wearing a bell, apparently. Oh, can I jump to that ladder? There we go. Ah, apparently it's Christmas time, I can see. Slightly inside. Okay. Come here, birdie. Birdie, come here! Ah! Where- oh, you're up there. Okay, can I get up there? Uh. Ooh. There we go. 
Come here, birdie, birdie, birdie. Come here. Oh, close. Ah, the nest. Can I get up there? Okay, hippity hoppity. I'm coming to get you. I'm gonna get you. Hmm. I wonder, can I go back and get into that nest? I know, that sounds so wrong, but... It was over here. Ooh. The babies were all gone. Oh. Darn it. Would have been a great appetizer. <laughs> Quit messing with me. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I went through the toothpaste. I went through... I jumped and I almost got her. Ugh. Went through the... the uh, mistletoe. Not mistletoe. Uh, well, mistletoe is definitely poisonous. No, that was holly. Um, alright. Where'd you go? Aha! I see you! Gonna get ya! I'm gonna get ya! Whoa! I almost jumped right off of there. Alright, how do I get up there? How do I get up there? I could tell she was getting really tired. Aha! I'm coming! Now I was up in the big tree. Mm. I promised Dad I wouldn't climb it anymore. Well, I'm a cat now. All I cared now. about was eating that mama bird. I'm a cat. I don't have to listen to Papa. Okay, can't go up there. Or can I? Hmm. Hmm. How to get... How to get to Sesame Street. Okay, let's backtrack a little bit. Oh, there's the birdie. Okay. Ah! Ha ha! Come here, birdie, birdie, birdie. I gobbled her up. Woo! Oh! Whoa, whoa, whoa! And suddenly, I was an owl. First, right. all I heard was the wind. Then I heard little teeth nibbling in the grass. Little teeth nibbling? Am I searching for more prey? I hear those nibbling teeth. I don't see anything, though. Rabbits! Where? Where? <gasps> Rabbits! Rabbit! Oh! I imagined his face looking up and seeing mine through my talons. Uh. I swallowed him up, and I didn't chew one bit. This is one then morbid I girl. The, the, the very imaginative yet morbid little girl. Looking around. A mama rabbit. Oh, mama rabbit. Where's Mama Rabbit? Oh, I see you. I see you. Mama Rabbit. She was almost too big to carry. I Ugh. started choking, but I couldn't stop eating. Ugh. And suddenly, I was a shark. Oh, right. The natural progression of things. I went from a cat, well, a little girl, to a cat, to an owl, to a shark. Okay. Oh, I get to flippy floppy. Okay, flippy, flippy floppy. Ooh. Oh. Ah. Oh. Ow. I rolled off a cliff and into the ocean. Okay. And now I was hungrier than ever. Oh, what do I see over there? What is that? I see some. Is that a seal? I wanted fat, ah. juicy seals. Apparently, yeah. Ooh! Dun 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 It tasted really good. Like I said, morbid, really, really morbid little girl. 
All right, where where's the seal? Where's the seal? Where's the seal? Oh, I see the seal. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Come on. Come on. Grabbed on tight. Oh. I was so hungry. Jumped out of the water. When I opened my eyes, everything had changed. What? What am I now? Am I a, a squid? An octopus? Just sort of dragging myself along. I guess I'm a, a squid. Now I was a monster, and I smelled people everywhere. Oh, okay. Ugh. I mean, the perspective on this is rather novel, but ew. Ugh. I was big, but I moved real quiet. Hello. Want to be friends? <laughs> ew. I guess he didn't want to be friends. Oh, nope, nope. Back up this way. Uh. If any of you are getting motion sickness from all this weird camera angle stuff, I apologize. I wanted to stop, but also, I didn't. Well, that's how life is. <laughs> Show me the way to go home. Shave his belly with a rusty razor. Wait until you meet me, buddy boy. Oh, there's another one. I'm gonna get you. I was still hungry. Still? I crossed the water and smelled something new. Something I had to have. So I swam towards it. Okay. Where am I going? I slithered onto the sand, and the good smell went into an old pipe. The good smell? Good smells and pipes usually don't go together. Mm. No, no, no. Ew! Alright, worst nightmare ever. Seriously, something like this coming out of your toilet. Ugh. Gross. Oh, oh, I'm all tangled up. I got closer and closer. No. It's my room. Well, Molly's room. Okay, this is taking a turn. All of my stomach started growling. Boop. And suddenly, I was me again. I held my breath for a long time, but I couldn't hear anything. I think it's waiting for me to fall asleep. Oh god. But it's not going to wait much longer. It needs to be, and we both know I will be delicious. Well, you are made of sugar and spice and everything nice, right? Wow! Back to, uh, reality? <laughs> Okay. I'm not sure if I believed all of that, but I'm sure Edie would have. Yeah. Okay, so we've got Molly. Apparently there's also Barbara, 
Calvin, Sam, Edie, Walter, Walter, Odin, Kay, uh, Gregory, Gus, Don, Milton, Lewis, and Edith, myself. We have quite a family to go through, and we shall, and we shall continue on in the next episode. So listen guys, thank you as always so much for watching. I hope you are enjoying this new series. Oh, I hear a kitty outside. Show your support, please. Give me a thumbs up button. And also leave some comments, some feedback, subscribe for more videos. You have a great day, and I will see you soon. Bye for now.